Hello everyone, my name is Grace, this is the channel Plumbob Cubed, and we are here today with the Frio Brothers for the Master and the Brawler. So, Jared's child was born last night. His child with Claire Ernstein was born last night. Her name is Brooke. She's a Virgo and excitable. She knows nothing about her father, and he knows nothing about her. But because of this, he has a it's a girl moodlet. He wants to buy a crib, and he wants to get married. I think mean, he's having a little bit of a crisis. Since he's feeling all responsible, let's get him to pay the bills, and then he can take care of the shower stuff, and then he needs to eat, and he needs to have a little bit of fun. We'll let him play a little computer game. I'm honestly not sure how Jared's relationship with his daughter will be. Right now she's a baby, so I doubt that she's even leaving the house. Connor is probably going to quit his job soon because I think he can get promoted today. I'm thinking he might just finish this week and then we can go to City Hall and register as retired. And hopefully that will still bring in a paycheck. Connor's car is here, so I'm gonna send him out. He's still reading his book. He's hopefully gonna get through it quickly. It sounds like Connor is going to get his regular like paycheck if he works until Friday. And so I'm thinking he's gonna like work, get promoted, work till Friday, and then he'll quit his job. Well, he won't quit, he'll register as retired so he keeps getting paychecks and he'll pursue being a professional author. Jared is really in baby making mode. Well, not baby making mode, he's in parental mode. He wants to throw a house party though. He had a wish to play a game with Vita, but I figured that rather than doing that, we could instead have a house party. So I think we're going to invite out Vita to Central Park and see if she is available to go. No, I'm not interested right now. We love you too, Vita. Okay, we want to do something that will raise He wants to have a house party, so he needs to make some friends. I'm thinking we'll have like all these friends over, have this house party, and then we'll start beating people up. As we've discovered, the park is a good place to make friends. Let's go here to Blair Wainwright. Do we know her? We do not, and we have not fought with her. We fought with Zelda and Madison Van Watson, though. All, like, the blonde girl sims kind of, like, confuse me after a while. Except Agnes Crumplebottom. I can recognize her with a heartbeat. Because in his description, it specifically says that, you know, once he, like, befriends you pretty easily, and then he kind of, like, becomes cool with you. He wants to ask her sign. We can absolutely get to know her sign. Let's talk about computers. Uh, she's a hopeless romantic, and she's a Gemini, which is not necessarily compatible with us. Let's consider her attractiveness. I want to see how hot we think she is. Socializing with Sims does increase the fun, as I was hoping. We are definitely going to keep being out here. Just like build up a little bit of relationships with everyone that we see. So that means we can have like our grand party. Vita's going to work. Why is, why are you screaming? I thought things were going all right, but okay. If you say so, I wasn't paying that close attention right there, so who knows? Maybe he just needs to get some fighting out of his system and then he'll feel better. Seems like everyone who comes to the park, we've already built a little negative relationship with. Jared has grasped the basics of logic. Well, let's try our look at a different location. Doesn't look like a lot of people are coming to the park, so let's try the library. Hello, library. We're gonna, like, see who wants to come out here. Let's go here. Come on, there's gotta be some people hanging out at the library. We can get some bookworms. Molly French, we don't know her. Let's go get to know her. Are you just gonna like walk off the cliff? No, you're just gonna walk all the way down. Okay, I was gonna be slightly impressed if he did the classic juvenile jump. We have so much in common, I'd love to get to know you better. I don't care what anyone else thinks, I think you're hot. I think we should just, he doesn't wanna ask her sign though. I guess just enthused about cooking, consider her attractiveness. She's a hopeless romantic, and she's an Aquarius. We can joke about cooking with her, tell her a funny story, joke about work, all these fun things. We find Molly French blindingly stunning. 10 out of 10. He still wants to have his first kiss with Vita. Cause some of me is telling like, let it go, you know? Molly, she might be single. We have a better chance of getting with her. But Vita just has so much power, and I don't think anyone can help but be attracted to that power. Molly is single. She is straight. We're having the, like, attractive company mood lit. Hank Goddard is flirting with Madison Van Watson. Pesky little boy. I think there'll be enough interaction with Molly. Let's go back to the park and see if there's anyone we can interact with. We've already fought with her. <laughs> We've already fought with her. We fought with him and her. 
we haven't fought with Agnes Crumple Bottom, and she's working in the culinary profession. Let's do a friendly introduction to Agnes, because she's also rich. And I think she's a natural cook. I'm not sure if she's gonna really get along with Jared, but I think she might get along with Connor. He wants to be mean to Zelda because he had to walk by her because he loves being around his enemies. She thinks we're attractive too. Let's joke about cooking with her. He doesn't have any wishes to like ask her sign. She thinks Jared's attractive. Does he just have like this bad boy thing going for him? Because I get the whole like attraction to bad boys thing. I'm dating a little bit of a bad boy, but he doesn't go around beating up people. He hasn't beat up 11 people. Okay, let's consider her attractiveness and see how much he thinks she's attractive. We're gonna ask her sign, ask if she's single, get all those important interactions in. Yeah, he doesn't have any wish to do any of that. He seems like most taken with Vita. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think you're hot and we think she's blindingly stunning. 10 out of 10. So we have Molly, we have Agnes, and we have Vita. She's a hopeless romantic and she's a Virgo, so our signs are compatible because he's also a Virgo. And he's gonna praise her book. She is single. I mean, she has money. She's available. But he doesn't have any wishes related to her. I'd feel like we'd kind of just be like using her. I feel like she would work better with Connor. Why am I considering Jared for romantic relationships? He needs to beat people up. And I'm just like, he could fall in love with Molly. He could fall in love with Vita. He could fall in love with Agnes. This is the thing I don't get. Why are so many people like falling at their feet for him? Okay, Agnes is older than Jared. I'm still looking for Vita. I'm, I'm still caught up on Vita. Oh, we're friends with Agnes now. Okay, do we have any wishes related to her? No, I don't know. Let's see how she wants to interact with us. Like, let's not control anything. Let's see what she wants. Stop looking down at each other's shoes awkwardly. Show me how you want to talk to each other. She wants to argue with him, and he wants to argue with her, and he wants to become friends with Agnes again. Let's apologize, maybe, because he wants he wants to become friends with Agnes again. Agnes actually clicked on him and said, like, argue with him. He, she chose to start an argument with him. He didn't choose to. But he does value his friendship to Agnes, as just shown through his wish. It doesn't have a wish to take it any farther, it doesn't look like. I'm just waiting for Vita. I'm not sure if we're already too late. I'm hoping not. Connor has left work. Connor, you know what? You're gonna work at the park. And Connor's gonna come to the park and he's going to work on his book here. So Jared's actually gonna like walk away from the table that Connor needs to sit at. So let's have him finish reading his book for his opportunity. Jared wants to be mean to Michael Bachelor. He's decided that's gonna be the best interest of his time to be mean to a teenager. Is there any... I don't see him around, so we're just gonna wait for Vita to get out. Come on, Vita, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Come on, Vita, I just want to talk to you. What are these little dirt spots? They're bugs. Catch the bugs. That's why we're on this lot. Do a smooth recovery. She drives a truck. Can I jump in front of the truck? Oh, we caught a really expensive, uncommon insect. Let's not invite over, let's invite out Vita. Invite to the park. Okay, and Connor needs to finish his book, but if I'm, is Agnes still here? Because I think him and Agnes would get along. Sure, that sounds like fun, meet there, okay. Vita is coming, and Agnes Crumplebum is sitting right across from Connor. Now we just have to look for Vita and be prepared for Vita to show up. She could co show up in any of her cars. That's Vita. Ask her about her day. I just never came up and I can't make it? What the heck? I see you, Vita. You're literally coming to the park right now. Agnes is attracted to Connor. Vita, what are you doing? Go interact with Vita. Did Connor finish his book for work? Yes, he did. Awesome. So that means we can absolutely spend this time getting to know Agnes. Jared does not have work today, which is nice. We're going to form a group of Vita. Like, I know as a woman, I should probably be taking the hint that she doesn't want to spend time with us, but just because she's worried about the rumors. Okay, we're in a group. Let's do like some more like friendly things. You know, we already asked about her day. Don't do that again. That's boring. She'll hate us. Tell a funny story then. Connor's doing okay with Agnes. Okay, Vita's a snob. Vita's coming home with us. Go here with group. That's why we got her in a group because she might not feel comfortable flirting in a public park. I get that. It would be so stupid to flirt in a public park. Everyone's gonna gossip. Is she gonna get in the same car with us? Yes, she is. Oh my gosh, ah. I'm thinking of leaving soon. 
Girl, good luck. Not good luck. We support your decisions and respect your anatomy. Atomony. Let's get to know her, do a friendly hug, and get her inside the property. She's coming, she's coming, she's coming. Mm, she's on our property. And she's gonna compliment us. Then let's just do a friendly hug. And let's do a little flirt with her. <gasps> she took it. She just needs to be... She just need to be in private. Looks like Jared and Vita now, hopefully they have a great date. We just had to get her alone. Compliment her appearance. Compliment her personality. And let's not do anything inappropriate yet. He wants to have that first kiss with her. And I want it to feel like a good first kiss, not like way too fast one. Let's give her a massage. Oh my gosh. So after a hard week at work, I was like telling my boyfriend like, oh, my feet hurt. And he was like, oh, like when you come over, I'll give you a feet massage. It's just like the sweetest thing. Like he tried to massage my whole body and it, he's a little rough. He's, he's, a, he's a little muscular. He has a lot of force, but it was nice. He just confessed his attraction and he just had a first kiss with her and a car just went by and she finds him extremely irresistible. Do we have any of our wishes? We have no wishes related to her right now. Embrace her. Do a stroke cheek. Okay, we got her at home, so we were able to flirt with her. But now, we want to prove to her that we're worth, worth her affection. So I think we're going to attend a movie with a date. I always like the sound of Sandonia in June. I think that one just sounds romantic-ish. So it's like, we're going to go. Vita, come watch a movie with me, and then we're going to like eat out. It's going to be super sweet. We're going to go on a nice little date. And how's Connor doing? Uh, Connor is still acquaintances with Agnes. Their relationship did not go into the red. And I'm currently trying to look for her. Okay, Agnes. This is not Agnes. This is his, this is Umi. We'd be like, oh, Agnes has a kid. Okay. I didn't remember renaming her kid, but oh, okay. So Agnes has left the park, which is sad. And Connor's rereading. Of course he is. He's going to continue writing his book. He has totally really preggers an unexpected mother's tale in his inventory does that mean he's interested in that because fiona's attracted to him and agnes is attracted to him and jared has entered the movie theater we could be a little scandalous normally you can like click on the movie theater and be like woohoo but I, I, maybe it has to be maybe it has to be like your second woohoo at the very least i'm not the person to ask when it comes to that and connor is writing his book He's getting paid well for it. Is this Agnes? Yeah, let's talk to her again. See, this is why we're staying in the park. So that means we can like go back and forth and maybe like consider her attractiveness. I'm not sure if she, I'm not sure if we asked that and if he got a 10 out of 10 for her. I feel like they would. I've only gotten like zeros out of 10 and tens out of 10. I got like a seven out of 10 once. He's talking about his brother Jared to her. That's my go-to too. When I, when I am attracted to a girl, I just talk about my relative that is more of a bad boy than I am because we all know I am such a bad boy. Oh, it's having a beautiful sunset right now, isn't it? Ah, oh, shame we're missing that. Jared is at his movie. Why is he at the movie theater with his date? I hope so because that's an interaction I clicked, right? Oh, he wants to have a great group outing. I don't think, I think it's gonna be a great date or not a great date. Did we consider her attractiveness? We're consider we're gonna consider Agnes's attractiveness again because if we did, I didn't see it. Jared saw a movie. Going back to Jared for a movie for a second. Where is Vita? We're not gonna like super obviously flirt with her in public. Wait for your date to come out. There she is. Let's talk about computers with her because that's totally what the movie was about. And let's tell a funny story. And Connor has stopped talking to Agnes. Is he just not interested in her? I don't know. Connor, we're gonna trust you to do your own thing. I think Connor can survive without us. I want Jared to do well on this date. Okay, after they talk, he's going to eat here, eat with his date. He's like, oh, let's talk about your career for a second. He's like, well, let's talk about mine. Let's go to it. Let's go to the place, the place I work. Come on, Vita. Oh, she's getting dressed. Oh my gosh. Vita, let me see your outfit. Ooh la la, Vita looks cute. In <gasps> that back, scandalous. What are we wearing? We're just wearing the regular thing. I guess we're gonna change once we get there. Oh, who's this sitting on the edge there? Nick, <gasps> her husband. Her husband's right there. We just started dating. I think flirting in front of her husband is not a good sign. I think that just going into a restaurant with her in front of her husband is not a good sign. Maybe I'm old fashioned. We're gonna stay for dessert too. We have a situation. So when your food arrives, it isn't what you ordered. Do you kindly send it back 
or keep and eat it up, send it back. Your waitress apologizes and brings you the correct meal. With a wink, she tells you you'll be dining for free, seriously? Is that a joke? I thought negative 75 was already subtracted. I don't know, because why not? Nick Alto is leaving, thank goodness because Nick Alto does not need to see Vita come out of the restaurant with him. Jared ate at a restaurant. Where is Vita? Maybe she was freshening up in the bathroom. I mean, like, is Jared really that attractive? I know that, like, I personally made his eyes a little smaller. Okay, Vita's right here. Let's maybe tell a little funny story about work. Oh, she's smiling because of his misery. So then after that... After the little time out, they're gonna go back to the Frio house. We don't wanna flirt with her in the town. Cause if we do, Nick's gonna hear and we're gonna get in trouble. Connor's still writing, which is good. Jared is, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how old fashioned he is. You know, cause they kissed before they even went on a date. I'm not sure if he's the kind that's like, go for it. He wants to learn two more of Vita's traits. Cause all he knows is the good ones. Snob, charismatic, ambitious. Okay, she's accepting all of his flirts. He's asking her about her, her day. That's how you kill the mood. Give her a massage and embrace her. She's thinking of him. Oh my gosh. I think with that embrace, we just got a special screenshot for this episode. Let's do a shy kiss. We're flirting in the driveway. Makes me feel like they're little teenagers. And they're not afraid of her husband. But you know, I am afraid of her husband. So we're not going to ask her to break up with Nick yet. Because that's a little too fast. And I think asking her to stay over is way too fast. But I don't want this night to end. Flirt with her some more. Just a basic flirt. She finds us extremely irresistible right now. She's married. Let's go for it. What did he just ask her? Ask about her day again. Oh, we're going intense. Now she just thinks we're okay. Because he asked her about her day and ruined the mood. And he's going to ask her to come to bed with him and she said yes okay <laughs> oh they're gonna do it in connor's bed oh oh let's see vita's nightwear Ooh, her nightwear kind of matches jared's it's like they were meant to be together i also like this screenshot i'm gonna take one I like this little pose right here where they're both a little content on their on their bed not on their bed on connor's bed oh they're cuddling they're about to go under. Okay, let's listen closely to the, the noise. Oh, it sounds like nothing happened. He had his first woohoo with her, and it was disappointing, but it was a thrill ride. So let's go again with the romantic and give her a regular kiss. I guess an appropriate kiss will work, too. She's thinking about her career. He's thinking about how he feels flattered. I'm getting a bit sleepy. I, I should head home. It was a really nice time we spent together tonight, thanks. I gotta go by when our first date. It's hard to imagine that date going better. Playful banter gave way to, to gazing into each other's eyes and oh my, where did the time go? Yeah, it's midnight. And he wants to go on another date with Vita. Well then, who needs to get to know two more of her traits? We need more Vita time, more Vita dates. Connor's gonna come home. He has level five writing skill now though. Connor is home. We have mail, we just have regular mail. Go back out and get your regular mail. What does our mail say? Oh, it's just Connor's books. Well, Connor's gonna have to go sleep in the bed. We're gonna have to buy Jared his own double bed. The Lankarax just had another child because they enjoy having a big family. And we are on letter C, so if I am correct and i most likely am we do have some comments from another episode i that was like a sims sims 4 one and someone suggested the name Corey. so a baby boy named Corey sounds wonderful to me thank you so much ray for the suggestion Corey ringerlack but i think Corey sounds great as always comment baby names below comment book names below comment names of people for jared to beat up comment what you think about jared pursuing vita thank you all so much for watching just watching is a lot for me but a like a comment a subscribe would do so much i hope you enjoyed this episode and that you have a lovely day there here forth Thank you and bye-bye.